Want to take you outside for a live look. That is Clearwater Beach. A lot of company in these parts this time of year, especially this afternoon. Chief Meteorologist Bobby Desk. It's like a lake out there I right know, now. Right? <laughs> Flat. Talking about the weather. That was Clearwater time. Beach, right? That was Clearwater yeah. Beach. Uh, very quiet here. Great place to cool sure. off. Water temperatures right around 91 degrees. Tropically speaking, we are good so far, but we do obviously need to keep an eye on this. So I want to kind of show you a couple of different options. We're still, I don't want to say stuck, but we're still at 60% chance for development from the Hurricane Center. And that's what this area is. It's an area that we call hatched that says, hey, this is the area from the Hurricane Center where they think that this potentially could be at least a tropical depression or so, right? So 60% chance that would be the next seven days. Let me show you some options here. The European model is actually doing more something like this, and it's been doing that for days now. The GFS has been kind of back and forth a little bit over here, but more than anything else, it's a weaker system. And the, the weaker it is, generally the more west it will go. And so the GFS comes down across Cuba and then turns it up in the Gulf of Mexico and tries to develop here a little bit. So, so let's start with the system itself. Something to look at today. We haven't had this, right? Now that looks like a decent little tropical wave. Not organized at all, but certainly you can see where we've got showers and some storms kind of in a confined area. It's a very broad area, though. So this needs to get a little bit smaller. It needs to get a little bit more organized. Here is the European model. What I did was I went ahead and took that area from the Hurricane Center where they think it possibly could start to develop and put that on here. So watch the timing here. This is as we go through Thursday night into Friday. I'm going to stop at Friday night. Here's where it is. There's the Bahamas, right? Turks and Caicos. And this is Friday night at 11 p.m. Now watch what the European model does. By Saturday night, 10 p.m., kind of right in here with most of the weather off to the east. If this happens, we will be hot and mainly dry on Saturday if this particular run happens. This is Sunday afternoon. The center would be somewhere in here. Here are the Carolinas. You can see by Monday afternoon and then it actually starts to develop a little bit more as it pulls away. That's the European model. Here's the GFS. You're not going to see that. It looks like a mess, right? A lot of moisture. There's Cuba and there's where the center is somewhere in this area between Cuba and Florida by Saturday night. If that's the, the case, we would have more rain on Saturday and especially on Sunday, because here's Sunday afternoon into the evening hours, and it's trying to come up into the eastern Gulf of Mexico to our west, which means it would throw moisture our way. This still does not look like it's terrible for us, especially wind-wise. It would just be more rain and some heavier rain on Sunday. This is Monday evening. Now it's trying to close off a low, and then it just kind of meanders. There is a frontal boundary coming, and the European thinks it's going to get picked up and taken out with that front. This one doesn't see it because it keeps it further to the south. So it's still up in the air. Right now we're going a little bit drier on Saturday, better chance for rain on Sunday, and kind of leaning, I am, more towards that European model, staying along the east coast or just off the east coast of Florida.